Well, for my shed, um, I got uh, from Walmart a six-tier metal. It's called a Hyper Tough Heavy Duty Wire Shelving Unit, and it's 46 inches by 18 inches by 72 inches high. <clears throat> and it can hold 600 pounds. So, see, there's, there's a good picture of what you can do with it. It's got some casters on the bottom. There it is over there. I'm about fixing to put it together. So, there it is over there. Now I'll, uh, I'll post something also when I'm done with that. Here's, here's my dehumidifier that came in the mail today. I'm going to take the cardboard outside so I can show you my other purchase. Cardboard boxes. My other purchase is this. It's a Husky, uh, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drawers. Yeah, so it's a it's a place to put my tools. Because uh, on this side, I got a whole bunch of tools, but I got to put them in something. So that'll be good. And I'll have this whole thing. And it has locks on the wheels. Comes with four wheels. And there is a lock here, but it didn't come with the cabinet. So I'll have to go back to Home Depot and find out where the lock is. And then this is a strap you attach to the wall. You put, put a screw there through that hole and attach it to a beam or something. And then there's a strap that comes with it. Right here. There's the strap. Yeah, to hold it onto the wall. So if you have if you have somebody that's going to be pull, putting all those things out at the same time, then the tools will fall over. Not that I pull more than one uh, drawer out at a time. Usually I just pull out one drawer. But uh, if you have little kids that might try to climb up on the thing and they would fall on top of them. And then on the other side, <clears throat> um, there's uh, USB ports, two USB ports. And then there's a, a surge protector switch here. And then... Uh, there's uh, one, two, three, six uh, outlets uh, with that with grounds, and it's got a three-year warranty. Oh boy, it's good. And uh, yep, there's the dimensions. And then there's a body steel gauge. This one's at 21, so it's standard duty. So, yep, yep. And it says it has a weight capacity of 1,500 pounds. I don't know if that includes how much this thing weighs. Uh, drawer slide weight rating of 100 pounds. So that's pretty good. And there's the other side there. It's got uh, four five, five inch by two inch casters. And uh, it's got uh, integrated power strip with six integrated power strips, strips with two USBs. And... Uh, and then it has drawer liners in them. And then right here is where, that's where you put your power cord. And the power cord's in the drawer, right there. And then you have to put it through the hole. And then uh, um, I'll hook, you know, hook it up to the, the power outlet that's behind the, the unit. Yeah, so that'll get some of the stuff off the floor. So this hobby craft room, my wife is going to use this shelf over here for uh, that. She's going to use that for uh, growing things, you see, and uh, probably some for food storage. But probably just on the top shelves, she'll use it for growing things. And then I have a about a three foot by six foot uh, cabinet, uh, which is. Uh, currently out by the truck 
that I'm going to put in here when I have uh, my friend's help on Monday because it's it must weigh about 150 pounds and I'll put it up here in the corner so and it should come to about there and then right about here I'll put the old TV and on the other side it'll be a place to sit yeah so and my wife has a little uh, trampoline thing that's about three inches or three feet by three feet round and uh, we'll see how that all works so Thanks for watching. So directions. So each pole has slight horizontal indentations in one inch intervals. Each plastic cat, well, let's start with the top. Number one, add pole cap on top of each top pole. Here's the pole caps, so there's four of them. This is the top pole cap. And you just put them, push them in there, times four. No. I tried to do it with one hand. These are made out of plastic. All right, there's one. These are the bottom pole cap, or the bottom poles. They're the ones that have lever levelers in them. So you repeat that step times four for these other three, or times three for the left. Okay, step number two, mm, right there. So you have a shelf, and then you do, uh, there are six shelves, so the, the, there's some collar locks, and they look like this. Right here. And you put one on each side of the pole of where, at wherever the little indentation, the groove, where you want the shelf to be. And you just have to make sure that each of them is for the shelf, that that one shelf are on the same, uh, on the same uh, block. So. Now this little uh, collar lock has a thing that says up. Oh, there it is right there. Do you see where it's at? Top. And that's towards the top. That's the bottom where the uh, levelers are. <clears throat> and then the other side, you just put it in there. See this one here has a groove times two. so. That's why I'm putting putting it on the same one because it makes it easier to figure out where you're gonna be putting them. So now I've got all four collar locks on the four bottom rungs at the uh, corresponding uh, notches. And there are six shelves labeled A and you just push them onto the collar lock. So here's the shelf. So we'll take that. Okay, there's a top and a bottom. This is the top part. Then you put the legs and you stick them in the hole. When I set the top part, top part of the shelf, that being the upside part of the shelf, I think it goes like that. We can look and just to make sure. Let's see. Yeah. The little, the little uh, crosshatch part of the edge, whatever you call this part here, faces down. And the flat part is on the top part. So then you just lock it right in there to that little collar lock and you repeat it times three and then you keep on going until you get to the sixth shelf. So there's the first shelf and I just kind of, since it can hold 
600 pounds per shelf. I just kind of pushed it down a little bit with my foot and about a quarter of my body weight. Then you take the top poles, and the top poles have a, you screw them on. See, there's the, there's the female end. And the screws are in right there. And you do it times, times all four sides. Then I got all four top part of the poles screwed on. Then uh, I'm going to keep on taking the collar locks and putting them on the top parts. I got three more shelves left. You got some extra uh, collar locks, like three or four of them. These, uh, these are just protectors. They protect the ends of the poles so they don't bend the box. And then these are just uh, for the corners of the box. And these are called, uh, they're called uh, plastic, uh, plastic disc between shelf collars. And you don't need these either. And it says these are, are not, these are for packaging purposes only and not for assembly. And then you can discard upon assembly. So, there are some optional things you can purchase right there. You got, uh, uh, you can uh, order an optional, uh, an extra shelf or a top pole or a bottom pole and a back support and plastic shelf liners, which I already have plastic shelf liners, but if you need more sidebar with loops, so if you want to, and then the shelf divider and uh, three hooks and uh, extension poles. I don't think you'd want to have it any taller than it is at 72 inches. Plastic tapered lock. So, and then you can hang clothes if you want and uh, push in uh, pole insert and swing bar. There's the company's number. It's uh, they call walmart.com. And it's called a hyper tough shelf. Thanks for watching.